Um, I did go to the Dollar Tree, <coughs> excuse me, and let me show you the bag. This is from the Dollar Tree as well. And um, I didn't have any intentions of buying this bag, but um, here in California, um, you have to pay for the bags. If they sell food in the store, then um, you could either bring your own bags from home and or or you have to purchase the bags and the bags are about 10 cents but if you keep you know like if you go to the grocery store you know and you're coming out with you know six seven bags let's say um every time you go to the grocery store you have to pay for that unless you bring them back with you and you can reuse them so at the dollar tree i you know they do sell food and so <laughs> i was going to get charged uh, 10 cents and I needed probably about two bags, but I figured you know what I might as well just get this Reusable one and this way I will take it back with me to the Dollar Tree when I go So yeah, that's why I got the bag. Okay. I don't know if it's like that in any other state Let me know. Let me know if it's like that where you live, but I know in California this just passed that Okay, all right, let's move on. All right, let me show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. I picked this up this ring of floral foam and um, I'm, what I'm gonna use this for or try to use this for is for uh, I have like a little greenhouse I guess in my garden window I bought it at Michaels and I want to put I bought some um, what well, did I buy them or I'm going to buy them I'm not sure if I actually got them yet no I think I think I did I, I think I got two little sprigs of like lavender that I bought there at Michael's and uh, I need the foam. And I hope this is going to work. I don't know. I think it's a little too big, but we'll see. All right, guys, then I picked these up here. These are little mushrooms. They go outside, well, they're anywhere, but um, they're for outside. And this is pink and I have two of the aqua. I bought two of the aqua. These are gonna go in my front yard uh, in lieu of plants. I am done planting plants. Um, unless they're like cactus or something like that, um, I'm not going to plant anymore, especially up in the front. Uh, I have a walkway, I have a planter, and I used to put it so pretty. I live in the desert and the sun just beats down right there all day long. And in the summertime, I have to go out there and water three to four times a day, seriously, because it gets crazy hot here. I mean, 110 sometimes, it's just crazy hot. And I'm just, I'm tired of dealing with it, you know? So anyways, I thought I would put these out there in lieu of plants and, and flowers. Um, the sun will uh, corrode this as well. It will, but for a dollar, I figure it, it's fine. The other thing I got uh, are these birds. Look at this one. And, look, and then this one's yellow and black with brown. Uh, so I picked these up. I wasn't gonna get this one. I just wanted this one here. And my husband said, no, we got to get this one because black and yellow for Pittsburgh Steelers football team. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so we got these. Uh, I'm not sure where these are going to go just yet. I know they, uh, they're probably going in my backyard. All right, moving on from that. I bought these two candles. Um, these are the Krispy Kreme. And this one is in Raspberry Filled, and this one is in Dulce de Leche. These two here. And um, it really smells good. They both do. They smell wonderful. So I hope that once you know they're burning, that it'll have it'll stay true to the scent that I'm smelling. <laughs> because sometimes they smell nice like this, and then when you uh, light them up, you you get nothing. So I'm hoping you will with these. I've heard good reviews on YouTube with when it comes to these candles, the Krispy Kreme ones. Uh, I want to get the other ones, uh, the ones that look like the Starbucks coffee kind. I think that's what they are. Uh, but anyways, can't wait to give those a try. All right, and then I finally went and got my Yardley London Shea Butter uh, Bar Soap. I always pick these up, but um, sometimes they don't have them in stock, the Shea Butter ones. Um, and I'm glad that I picked these up. I've been using Tone, which is fine, but it's, believe it or not, Tone can also dry out my skin. And forget Dove and Olive Ole and um, what's the other one? Caress, all those. I can't, it just makes my skin itch. It dries me out, but this one, 
perfect love it I always want to have backups of those so I bought, I bought four of those all right and then I got this um, this is the uh, bolero body cream and this is in argon and shea butter and they had other uh, different types of scents All right, guys, the other thing I picked up was this little uh, dispenser. You put, you know, whatever you want in here, and then you just push down, and the product comes out. And the reason why I got this is because I saw uh, Tamika Tenacious video one time, and she was showing um, her favorites, I think. And anyway, she puts water in hers, and then, do I have my beauty blender? No, it's already ready to get washed over there. Anyways, um, she puts water in hers, and she does wet her beauty blender before she sits down and puts makeup on, but she, sometimes, and this happens to me too, um, as you're, you know, taking your time doing your makeup, the beauty uh, blender or the beauty sponge starts to dry up. And so this is just a quick way to just sort of put it on here and then, you know, redamp it without having to get up and you know run it through the water so that's why I got that to keep this here on my vanity for that reason so I'm glad about that all right the other thing I got was these essential organizers and I got two of these and I am oh, I keep saying this I don't know but I'm in the middle of reorganizing my my vanity I've already taken off a shelf that was in front here I took that off um, I have purchased acrylic containers from like home goods Marshalls TJ Maxx and things like that they're all in the bag over here ready to get used but um, I bought these because I'm not sure if I'll use this for my makeup vanity or uh, my drawer in my bathroom it is a big mess so that's getting organized too so I might use these for that or for my vanity here my makeup all right guys and then the last thing I picked up are these fashion nails from sassy and chic and they are like the 4th of July and they have blue red and uh, silver glitter stars and I really really do like sassy chic <clears throat> excuse me I've already gone through two of like the French style ones and I absolutely love them love them because they to me, they just feel so real. I want to get some more different styles, but this is the only one they had. I mean, this package was the only one they had in this design. That was it. So I picked that up. But I, I can't wait. I think I want to go get one for my mom. I think she would really love these for the 4th of July. All right, guys, and that's it. Like I said, I, I mentioned my bag. I got that, and I will be leaving this in my car. So when I go into the Dollar Tree, I have my bag <laughs> that I will be taking in. Uh, you know, 10 cents can, you know, it's not much if, you know, but 10 cents every single time. And if you need more than one bag, you know, it's, it's constantly purchasing the bags. Anyways, guys, that was it. That was my Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and I will be back with another Dollar Tree soon enough. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.